Faith is integral to salvation and to the lives of every man and woman in history. With as important as it is though, how often do we step back and take a look and consider what faith truly is? Everyone has faith. Everyone incorporates it into their daily life. Man or woman, young or old, religious or atheist. We have faith that our senses are reliable. We have faith that scientific laws will stay consistent. And we have faith in the very existence of reality. This faith allows us to live fruitful and productive lives. And the faith that we have is reasonable faith, since they come from observation and consistency. But we still have to have faith that our perception is true. What makes a crazy person crazy? What makes them crazy is that their version of reality is different than the true reality. But they believe that their reality is real. And we simply believe that their reality is false because the majority of us agree that our reality is the correct one. But in truth, we can't actually be certain that we aren't the crazy ones. Nevertheless, that faith in our reality is a good thing and it's essential to our lives on Earth. So how much more important would faith be in regards to our eternal souls? The Christian faith is a good and reasonable faith. It is faith born from our observations of the world and the undeniable reality that there must be a creator and that something has gone wrong in this world, as evidenced by the pain and suffering. It is faith born from the truth of scripture, which explains the world around us and which we see confirmed in the changing of our hearts upon salvation. The Christian faith is not a blind faith, but a necessary faith. Just like faith in our reality on earth is essential to living a productive life here on earth, the Christian faith is essential to living a productive and fruitful spiritual life on earth and forevermore afterwards. And it's a fruitful faith not because of our strength of belief, but because of the object of our faith. Here on earth, for our reality, our faith is fruitful not because we believe it really strongly, because even those who are insane believe that their reality is true very, very strongly. It is the object of our faith. It is the fact that we have faith in the true reality that we are able to lead fruitful lives with the rest of humanity. And when we see someone who is insane, we see the bad fruits result from their faith, even though it's strong, in an object that is not worth having faith in because the object of their faith is not real, is not true. As Christians, we should understand this concept because the fact of the matter is, is our faith isn't perfect. Faith incorporates the mind, but more importantly, the heart. We can know something to be true in our heads, but lack faith in our hearts. If we feel worried about what our future holds, we are showing a lack of faith in God's sovereignty and His promises to provide. We may know in our heads that He is in control, but our fears betray the weakness of faith in our hearts. Our feelings expose our hearts. The Spirit grows us in our faith as we are sanctified, but our weakness should show us that it is the object of our faith that is important since our hearts are weak. It is Christ that saves, not our ability to have a perfect faith. A new Christian is joyous and exuberant because their faith in Christ's sacrifice on the cross is fresh and it's strong. But then struggles come, difficulties come, and they stumble, and the weight of their sin can cause them to lose some of that faith and to bring them down. Their sin can cause them to lose their joy at times, betraying a weakness in their hearts. But even though our hearts can falter, and even though we struggle, it does not negate our salvation. It simply points us towards the strength of Christ in our salvation, and not towards the strength of our own selves. As always, thank you so much for watching. Test my words, read your Bibles, and spread the truth.